Good afternoon guys. Today I want to show you some old stuff. Um, cameras um, that I've got that is very old and some two old watches and uh, some old tin toys. So let's start with the watches. Okay. <clears throat> Firstly I've got this old Omega. It's a Omega Automatic Seamaster Cosmic. Um, it's the date is not correct. I didn't um, set the time and the date, but just to show you that it's still running. I believe it's a very old watch. It's not its original original um, strap, but the watch itself is. Um, the glass is loose at this point in time, so I need to send it in for restoration because I believe it's uh, it's worthwhile to spend some money to get it in a very good condition. Um, so this is the Omega. Let's have a look from the top. So you just shake it a little bit and then it runs. Okay, so now I'll look at another one. This one is um, old Tacoma, if I read right. Maybe you can see there the name. Uh, it looked like the Tacoma. I haven't got an idea where it came from. It's a golden watch. And you can see the small... Um, second uh, there it comes you can see it's running but it's a wind up watch one of the old stuff that you need to, to wind up I haven't got, uh, let it appraised so I haven't got an idea how old it is and what it is worth, I bought it once at a, at a, a garage sale or what, something like that. I put this leather strap on because it I haven't got a, a strap at that point in time. But it's nice to have it in a still running condition. Maybe some of you can tell me what what make it really is and where it came from. As I said, I haven't got an idea. Okay, so this is the Tacoma, as far as I can see. Okay, and the, and the next item is this old camera. It's a Ricoh 35FM that I bought many years ago. Um, it's a 35 millimeter reel that it take. It took very nice, nice pictures at a time. And um, I've seen on the lens. Maybe I can stop it when it is at the front. Uh, just a moment, let it turn another round. Okay, there you can see the lens. Um, it's a 1 and 2 to two, 8, 40 millimeter Rico. Um, there is some screw thread, so I believe you can put a, a better lens on. And at the top, you can set the lens for. I believe that is a panoramic view for more family type of uh, photo and then for a single person and then for uh, very close. So it still is in a working condition. Um, so I bought it about 20 25 years back, second hand from, a, from another guy. 
Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, the second one is this old uh, brownie. Um, I believe it's an old type of camera. Um, it says in the front brownie holiday flash camera uh, from Kodak. Let's turn it around and see how it look at the other side. The guy that uh, donated to me said it's in a working condition, but um, I didn't never try to use it because I haven't got a film for, film for it, and I don't know if it still exists in any case. So I just keep it in my collection of old stuff. And the next one is this Alina, hundred times. Um, and I remember at the time when this came out on the market, everybody uh, bought this because you just aim and push the button and it automatically um, focus. So it's a very popular camera at that time. I believe it's in the 70s or 80s. The Yelena. Let's run it around the other side. And it takes a flash at the top there. I still got the cartridge with two flashes that is uh, still usable. It's a wine firm to stop. I leave, uh, read there. And um, the last one of the cameras is this Concord. Um, I believe that for the time it was about in the 80s it was also a popular type of uh, camera um, I haven't got a firm for it let's turn it around and see how it look at the other side it's got a built-in flash Okay, so this is the Concorde. Okay, and now it's uh, something totally different. The older people might recognize this. Um, this is a butter press that they used uh, many years ago. Um, I'm not sure if it was an item that you bought or you make it yourself because it is old and uh, you might as well bought it in the shops at that time um, this could pick up and then you, then you put the butter at the bottom and press it down or rather maybe pull this up as you keep the top side top side down to the uh, press it down and then you make a, a half point of uh, butter half a pound rather but it's an old item and um, I'm glad to have one Okay, the next item is this um, item that you uh, make butter from, from milk or, or cream. It is a, 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 let's see the name, a glow. There is a name, I believe it came from Britain, but it's still working. Return that.
It's still working. Let's turn it around. Okay, so this is my butter maker. Okay, next up is this um, handmade uh, tin Volkswagen bus. Um, it was factory made, I believe, because we can buy this in, in shops. Um, and I have no idea from which country it came from, but it is very rough made but it looks very nice let's see how it look from the other sides very popular old Volkswagen combis or buses minibus Okay, this is this is him. And then lastly is this uh, formal tractor. I believe it's from the same company because you buy it in, in the same shops that uh, sell that or sell that Volkswagen Combi. It's also a very great uh, manufactured tractor all out of tin let's see, it, see how it looks at the other sides fairly big model I would say it's about a scale 1 to 12 ok guys that is uh, all for now and look out for more old stuff and uh, models and activities at home thank you for watching